Hello guys, welcome back to the Brute Investor channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, I'm going to cover a low market cap gem. In fact, it's so low that uh, the market cap is less than $5 million. And this project is called Definer or the Fin token, right? Again, as always guys, I highly recommend you guys do your own research by uh, you know, going through the documents as well as the white paper and light paper of a project. Um, and for any project that we cover in our channel, you should not take it as financial advice uh, because I'm not a financial advisor. And uh, it's always good to do your own research before you invest any of your money on this token, right? So for this project, I suggest you guys to go to the website definer.org. Uh, that is D E F I N I uh, sorry D E F I ner.org in order to learn more about this project, right? So what is Definer? Definer basically states that uh, put your crypto assets to work, earn interest and access instant loans through Definer's non-custodial platform, truly peer-to-peer, -peer, secure, no middlemen. So again, um, if you take uh, borrowing and lending from DeFi, uh, it is becoming more and more popular and uh, decentralized based uh, crypto asset management uh, which earns interest either by lending or staking or whatever, right? Is becoming more and more popular and uh, that's one of the main reasons why uh, several long-term institutions, uh, long-term investors including institutions are trying to be a part of crypto, right? So there are uh, custodial, um, you know, uh, platforms that uh, allow for borrowing and lending as well as uh, taking uh, crypto loans uh, with uh, interest rates that are much more feasible than traditional financial uh, you know, options are basically popping up. Some of the most popular custodial options are uh, Celsius Network, BlockFi and so on and so forth. Um, Non-custodial options are also becoming more and more popular. Some of them are uh, Compound Finance, Aave, as well as, uh, you know, Cream Finance and so on and so forth, right? So amongst the list of uh, non-custodial uh, platforms that put crypto to work in order to earn interest, Definer is basically aiming to be one of the, uh, you know, uh, go-to places for earning interest on your crypto, right? And they're doing this basically by earning interest and uh, basically allowing access for instant loans to crypto users through their non-custodial platform, which is very, uh, which is very important to note because um, based on Definer's platform, you, uh, if you interact with Definer, you will basically be having custody to your own private keys, right? So that's something that you guys need to definitely bear in mind. And it's a truly peer-to-peer -peer experience with a secure uh, you know, platform to earn interest on and there's no middleman because uh, this is a truly decentralized project, right? Again, um, if you see, they have a app which kind of facilitates this similar to Celsius or BlockFi and uh, you can pretty much access a wide, way, a wide variety of cryptocurrencies to earn interest from, right? So you can also click the get started button on the website in order to learn more about this project. So work smarter, not harder. Uh, explore limitless possibilities to earn, borrow, or lend on Defined, right? So again, um, you can have a lot of options and they state that they have a lot of crypto options that um, provide, um, you know, uh, limitless possibilities in order to earn, borrow, or lend uh, your crypto on Definer. So it will be interesting um, to see how uh, people respond to this app and how popular it becomes in the future, right? So when it comes to interest rates, what are the inter what are the percentages when it comes to interest rates that users can earn? So when it comes to earn crypto, deposit and earn six to twelve percent interest on your assets. Again. Um, the 6 to 12 percent range varies from crypto to crypto. Uh, you don't necessarily have the option of earning uh, 12 percent for a majority of the crypto. Uh, the higher end uh, APRs or APYs are usually reserved for stable coins. So assume that the 12 percent interest rate is basically for stable coins such as USDT, DAI or USDC coins. But the 6 percent is more in line for volatile cryptocurrencies, especially large cap 
uh, popular cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum and so on and so forth, right? So you can kind of expect similar uh, price, uh, you know, interest rates uh, from Definer, uh, which you can also find in several other leading players such as Celsius, as well as, um, you know, um, you know, Nexo and even BlockFi as well, right? But it seems like the interest range is a little bit higher compared to uh, the average uh, from centralized crypto lending, right? Which is very cool. Uh, withdraw anytime with no fixed terms and the option to borrow against your savings. So you can basically withdraw anytime um, you want. Whatever cryptos that uh, you deposit are not locked. So that's a very interesting uh, thing to note. And uh, there is no fixed terms. So you basically plug and play and you can withdraw it right away without no lockups. And you can also borrow, uh, you know, against your crypto holdings, right? So that's also something that's uh, very common uh, in centralized uh, based lending and borrowing services. But in decentralized uh, lending and borrowing services, um, you know, it's, um, it is it is kind of becoming like a norm as well, right? So again, another quick layout on the left hand side where they are showing like good charts and graphs uh, within the convenience of the mobile mo mobile app. You can deposit and you can also borrow, right? So something that you guys can obviously um, use and see. Lend and borrow, access our peer-to-peer -peer marketplace to find or make a loan offer that's right for you instantly. Leverage your crypto assets today. So again, they also have a desktop-based app which kind of provides you an overview of what you can expect when it comes to deposit APRs, um, you know, um, the borrow limit, borrow APRs and so on and so forth, right? So that's pretty interesting and bear in mind that this is all fully non-custodial, right? Your assets without limits. So what are some of the main features that Definer has to offer? So security is our priority. Definer's decentralized platform is powered by audited smart contracts for full security and transparency, right? So again, um, security is a very important concern for people who wanna basically use a platform to deposit and earn interest uh, in the long run. Because uh, again, immediately after this bull run, we will have a bear market, which uh, may or may not be as severe as the 2017, uh, 2018 bear market, right? Um, uh, which kind of like um, is not really sure at this point. So people are not really uh, interested in holding their money uh, when it's going down, right? So uh, they would usually want to put their assets on a platform that's very secure and also earn interest on the process, right? So Definer is basically offering some of the uh, high levels of security that you can find from any kind of DeFi platform because uh, they are using audited smart contracts, which is going to be something that um, you can also view transparently through their website, right? Best rates, no middlemen means increased premiums for lenders and decreased costs for borrowers. Again, they, are, they claim to offer some of the best rates. Uh, it seems like their ranges are pretty much uh, equal to or slightly better than kind of like traditional centralized finance uh, space. Uh, but again, since it's decentralized, uh, the lending and borrowing uh, APRs kind of uh, fluctuate constantly based on demand and supply. So it will be interesting to see how uh, they are doing it differently compared to other platforms like Compound Finance or Aave. Uh, so they are basically stating that uh, since there's no middleman, uh, the premiums that uh, lenders are going to get are going to be pretty uh, high and the cost that the borrowers are going to pay is going to be pretty low, right? Uh, insured, on top of audits, our platform is insured by Nexus Mutual to protect users from losses. Again, this is a huge deal. Uh, it is very, very important that any project, uh, any DeFi project specifically, that aims to do borrowing and lending um, kind of also has a uh, you know insurance package in place. Uh, not a lot of new projects that are aiming to offer this uh, borrowing and lending service has insurance. Definer is different, right? Definer is basically not only audited by uh, re really popular firms, they're also insured by Nexus Mutual, which is one of the most popular insure, decentralized insurance um, coverage uh, platforms uh, on the Ethereum blockchain and they are basically insuring 
your funds as well which means if something happens and if you lose your funds uh, due to a smart contract exploit or a bug uh, you will be able to uh, you know kind of get back your money through the insurance program right that they have which is very very interesting a uh, protection fund other than being insured we have a protection fund to cover any potential losses so not only are their smart contracts audited and they also have a insurance pla- program in place which is also decentralized insurance uh, they also on top of that in order to uh, secure user funds they have a protection fund which is specifically there to uh, cover for any potential losses which potentially may not be covered by the insurance fund right so that's very very uh, interesting and awesome at the same time uh, over collateralized loans all loans are backed by collateral have peace of mind knowing your loans are protected right so again on top of this uh, even before we even deposit your before you even like uh, borrow your crypto in, in the first place you have to make sure that you collateralize your loan by adding um, you know a uh, uh, volume of crypto which will be significantly higher than whatever amount you are planning to borrow right so this is called over collateralization over collateralization is done in order to protect the uh, depositors funds from being you know tampered with right and all loans that are offered by uh, or through the definers platform uh, are basically over collateralized which is very uh, good uh, flexible terms customize your collateral currency interest and terms for lenders and borrowers alike so one other benefit is basically you are able to customize your uh, kind of like uh, interest as well as terms for lenders and uh, you are also able to kind of like customize terms for borrowers as well right more digital option uh, more digital asset options lend and borrow with 15 plus digital assets including bitcoin ether dai or sai sai is again single collateralized uh, you know uh, stable coin it's pretty much the same thing as dai uh, tether bnb and many more right so again you are able to use more than 15 plus digital assets uh, for earning interest as well as you are able to also borrow them as well right accessible uh, seamlessly earn lend borrow and swap in one place 24/7 365 days on our web and mobile app so there's no closing days there's no uh, you know long weekends or uh, stat holidays or government holidays or anything like that you can pretty much access it 24/7 365 days a year right uh, secure and audited by the best so here are some of the uh, you know security f- uh, functions security organizations that have audited uh, 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 definer trail of bits um, taka security consensus diligence uh, as well as they also have a bug bounty program and uh, you can also read more about their security uh, functions by clicking this link so it is uh, a platform that aims to have high security systems in place and here are some of the investors of this project techstars nex snz uh, signum capital uh, are some of the few investors of this project ready to put your crypto to work click on this button start now in order to access the app right uh, or the dap right so again here is some of the uh, blogs information that you can access to learn more about this project uh, they have uh, kind of been uh, on the news as well uh, on nasdaq bloomberg yahoo finance coindesk fintech switzerland as well as coin telegraph right so again very robust project Uh, with extremely high emphasis on security and user funds protection which is something which is very important so i'm going to click start now in order to show the layout of their app um, on the website right so again if you go click start now it will take you to their actual dapp where you can connect your wallet again remember this is non custodial so you have to connect your wallet where you store your crypto uh, their native token is the fin token and you can earn Uh, a deposit apr for your fin tokens uh, you can earn about uh, you know 32.83% i believe uh, you can also provide liquidity uh, and also earn 131% if you see the um, uh, usdc coin which is one of the most popular stable coins you can earn about 5.8% uh, plus 
10.94% paid out in fin tokens and uh, you can deposit dai and earn some uh, really decent yield of 3.45% not the most eye catching yield but uh, it is something uh, to kind of like think about if you are looking to earn uh, decentralized uh, interest on your uh, on your stable coins um, if you see they are uh, they are providing 10.94% in fin tokens right so you are earning two types of uh, interests you are earning interest in kind which is highlighted in yellow uh, and that's basically the 3.45 for dai and when it comes to fin token itself you are earning a 10.94% interest right paid out in fin tokens again 4.66 for usdt 0.8% for ethereum which is relatively low uh, for bat you can earn 0.56 link it's 1.01 wrapped bitcoin it's 1.22 make a dow you get zero but you get 2.20 percent in fin tokens zero uh, x true usd uh, auger and that's pretty much it right so again uh, not a huge variety as they claimed but um, there is uh, some interesting uh, interest rates indeed none of them are significantly uh, you know higher if you take their fin lp token as well as the fin token itself you get 0% on the in kind uh, tokens but you get 32.82% um, paid out in fin token for the first one and for the for, for providing liquidity you earn 131.29% on fin right uh, it's very interesting that uh, for the fin token itself the deposit apr for in kind is 0.00% but you're earning fin tokens anyway by uh you know by a percentage of 32% which is uh, still like uh, i don't know if it's an error on their part or if it's a glitch or whatever but um, again that's something you can kind of see and and similarly on the uh, you know borrowing side you can earn uh, you, you you you'll have to kind of like see the interest rate that suits you uh, you usually have a higher borrow interest rate compared to the lending interest rate and the difference is kind of paid out to the to people who provide liquidity as well as to people who kind of participate in the ecosystem as well right so again a very interesting project uh, borrowing and lending is a important you know defi concept that is uh, becoming more and more popular uh, nobody wants to hold their bags during the uh, bear market and uh, projects like definer will provide a means to earn passive income during the downtrend which we will potentially face by the end of this year or by the end of this bull run right So going back to the CoinGecko page for Definer you can clearly see that this token is ranked 1591st on uh, on uh, market cap by CoinGecko uh, and it's uh, recently trading at 23 cents per token with a recent dip of uh, 3.9% in the past 24 hours and the market cap as i mentioned earlier it's less than 5 million dollars in market cap which kind of puts it uh, somewhere between um, you know extremely low micro cap and nano cap kind of like a market cap right so the market cap is extremely low so this is a potential gem with a potential uh, you know to go uh, 10x at least uh, or even like 50x by the end of this bull run depending on how high the popularity for the token is and how high the adoption is right uh, if you see the max supply is 168 million tokens Uh, slightly higher than my threshold of 100 million tokens and if you see the circulating supply is also pretty low 9.4 million tokens in circulation out of the 168 million tokens right so again uh, expect some short term price dumping or price slumping especially after people receiving uh, the fin token for um, for yield farming or for by providing uh, you know by they will pre- probably be earning that on top of the in kind interest that they get from depositing their collateral their token uh, and thereby people can potentially dump this token in the short term right if you look at the market cap to total value locked ratio uh, which is basically if you click the question mark uh, uh, icon you can clearly see that uh, market cap by uh, total value locked is a ratio that indicates um, whether this uh, the market cap is higher or lower compared to the total value locked uh, ideally the value of a ratio of 1 basically indicates that the ratio uh, of uh, the the market cap to total value locked is basically uh, pretty similar or or same uh, but if the market cap is higher and the total value locked is lower 
then you can see the number being above one and which is something that we are already seeing right now if you see the the market cap to pvl ratio is kind of 8.99 which is way above the ratio of one uh, which means that the market cap is 2.2 million which is still low but it's uh, again significantly larger compared to the total value lock which is only 251000 dollars right which you can also see on the left hand side here so again um it it does seem to be that this token is um overvalued but it doesn't really make sense if you consider the market cap being extremely low it's not even 5 million dollars in market cap so i think um uh, for tokens that are extremely new and extremely under uh, like under the radar right now i think the market cap to total value lock ratio may not necessarily be relevant at this stage uh, of this tokens uh, you know kind of like existence right so if you go to the charts you can clearly see that the token was uh, having some erratic uh, motion um, you know where it's kind of like going up and down it's a pretty normal state for a token that has extremely low market cap because it's it's high volatility is um, is extremely evident in the early stages uh, this token has been around since october 2020 and the price point is available from october 11th and if you see the token price was worth a dollar 19 but then the token price kind of like declined uh you know and then kind of reached an all time lows of about it was kind of declining uh throughout the end of last year and it reached a lower point of about 15 cents uh, early jan 2021 uh and then it started going up and creating a new all time highs of about uh 95 cents per token first of april before crashing back down to 31 cents and then going up again and then now it's kind of the downtrend again right uh, it is reaching its uh, all time lows and i do believe that this token can set a new low it seems like this token is not really that popular and therefore you can expect to see this token somewhere between 23 cents as well as uh, 18 cents in that range it does seem to make a really close uh, you know um, it does seem to make a close pattern to that of what it did last year at the end of last year so that kind of pattern is something that uh, uh, shows that this token will be in the downward trend or even in the sideways trend for quite some time until there's no uh, until there's no kind of like a dumping side pressure right if you take the bitcoin compared to the other hand the token price was initially worth at 10300 satoshis uh, 11th of october and then since then the token has been pretty much at, at a downtrend in the bitcoin comparative and currently it's uh, worth 547 satoshis per token uh, it's a really good buy opportunity with the bitcoin comparative um, and uh, if you see it's it's pretty much in the moving sideways right there's not, no real activity so it hasn't really set a new all time highs when it comes to bitcoin comparative so if you want to accumulate more satoshis Uh, or you know uh, invest in a project that's extremely low market cap which has a potential to explode and which is also in a downtrend then this project is probably uh, the uh, good option again not financial advice please do your own research right when it comes to ethereum compared to again pretty much the same pattern as like bitcoin it was worth 0.003 ether and now is kind of like a, in a downtrend of about 0.00006 ether uh which is an extremely all time lows for this in ether comparative uh again pretty much uh, the same good buy opportunity flashing for bitcoin and ethereum comparative but for dollar comparative i would probably suggest you to wait if you uh, if you ask my opinion right again not financial advice again so if you take the markets you can pretty much buy it from uniswap using ether uh you can also get it from uh you know ascendex which is for, which was formerly known as bitmax you can get it with usdt mxcg.io and who.com right so you can get it from all of these exchanges through usdt uh, but if you want to get it with ethereum you can get it from uniswap right again uh, as i said for usdt it's kind of like a in the downtrend if you buy it right now uh, again after doing your own research then this token probably uh, is at a really good buy opportunity but not as good as it would go when it goes below the 23 cent mark right but for bitcoin and ether comparative it's pretty much the all time lows and uh, a really good buy opportunity right again what is my thoughts on this project so i think that there there is a huge demand for projects that have uh, borrowing and lending and passive income kind of adapts that uh, make sure that uh, people 
earn passive income throughout the downtrend or uptrend regardless where they are hodling their crypto for long term right so projects like definer basically make it possible for people to earn passive income while also uh, earning an additional new token called fin token which not only has extremely low market cap uh, and relatively low uh, uh, max supply uh, it is also some something which is at a pretty much of a downtrend right now so by investing in this token or by even earning it passively by uh, you know lending your uh, your tokens you are basically um, kind of like uh, earning this token on the side when when it makes uh, an all time highs you'll gain some really good uh, you know profit which you can kind of uh, continue staking it in its own pool right you can also uh, lend definer tokens or fin tokens at an apr of 32.8% so again you can deposit your crypto in any of these pools earn in kind in kind interest uh, earn uh, fin token interest how much ever fin token you have accumulated you can deposit further in the fin uh, you know kind of deposit location and earn even more fin tokens while all the while your uh, fin tokens are appreciating in price not only because of the increase in market cap but also because of the fact that uh, you are earning passively and once definer sets an all time high you can obviously see that this token is going to be you know uh, having a potential to do 10x or even 50 to even 100x in the in the best case scenario right so again that's just my opinion guys again remember guys you guys are not regular investors you guys are brutal investors so stay brutal thank you very much for watching my video guys if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos see you in my next video bye